Okay, everyone, this is a process, a work in process, progress. Um, this is a tool belt that I acquired, the belt separately from Home Depot. Uh, it's a Husky belt. I acquired this belt because it has the cushion and the width, and my waist is pretty narrow, and... The nylon belts, the regular nylon belts, and the leather belts for sure would kind of cut into my my waist setup. So since my waist is very narrow, I went with this particular belt. Um, I've tried it out. This is for a setup of kind of breaking down movie sets, movie set props. So you have guys, these carpenters that build these sets for premieres and movies and things. And so now I, part of some of my work projects, I go in and help assist with dismantling the sets. So when they're a certain size, they dismantle them all the way down. And so these are some of the common tools that I've noticed uh, assist me a lot in that particular setup. So... This is something, this particular brand, I've noticed a lot of the guys have. And it works great because you work with a lot of Philip Head wood screws. Because a lot of the prop walls, you have to use what they call a kickstand. Which is just a piece of plywood or a piece of wood that you quickly drill to the end of the wall to get it to stand up. While you drill or insert multiple walls into this same board so if the board is maybe i don't know three feet in width you may attach maybe four to five walls on that one board and so you use a lot of wood screws and so what they do is they just take the wood screws and just attach them here and pull them as they need them i've noticed that the majority of the guys definitely use drill, I mean, uh, impact drivers versus drill drivers. So nobody really had drills. Um, this is really new to me, something I just started uh, doing or having experience doing in between my other work projects. And so I'm just sharing with you uh, some of the things that I am accumulating. So the belt comes by itself. Um, you can see it at Home Depot. Uh, I, I, I usually don't keep the prices in my head. Sometimes I know them. Most of the time I don't. So that's that. So this puller I showed you in the last video. I needed a puller the other day. I did not have one. So I just ordered one from Amazon. And that's that. This hammer was a great deal. I had to drive to a certain Home Depot that had these because this is a uh, 16 ounce and it come in a set of two it comes with a 16 ounce and a 20 ounce for 9.88 now i do remember the price of this because that was just a really good deal these hammers individually cost 13 dollars like 12 whatever 13 dollars for the 16 ounce 13 dollars for the 20 ounce and they come with the little nail a starter which is nice little magnet where you can just place the nail here boop get the nail started and then hammer away you no longer have to do the old school where you hold the nail with your hand and hammer away and so i did not have one of these the other day either uh so that would have assisted me so now i have a hammer and i got this from amazon this is at home depot a set of two 16 ounce and 20 ounce for ten dollars that's really good um this also was purchased at at uh, at Home Depot. Um, this particular pouch, I had the the first time I just had this belt and this pouch. This pouch I was sticking these screws, wood screws, inside, which was okay because it allowed me to keep the screws with me as I needed them. And also something you use a lot are these uh, snips because some of the wood and the things come in there with these metal straps and you have to cut and remove them. So this this bag is really good. Um, I like the little metal hook it has here so you can hang whatever has a hook. 
Um, you will need a tape measure on occasion. Um, you definitely need some type of knife or box cutter. I showed these in a previous video. Very inexpensive. Very nice. They work really good. Uh, this is Husky. It was also two for, for one price during the holidays. I forgot the price. Maybe $8. I don't know. $8 or $9. But I did a video on these. Uh, very good. So... Let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, this, I think I purchased on Amazon. This is something I previously had before I was doing these projects. And I use this to hold the phones because I utilize the phones as camera equipment. And so I use this so I can snap it on. And it has the, the clip and the, the loop. So it's nice when it has a clip in the loop because I actually use both. I clip it and run the belt through the loop so it's very secure. Same thing with these. Whenever they have the clip, um, it's good because then you can clip it without having a belt. Because actually when I first started with this pouch, I had the pouch first and not the belt. So I had to just kind of like clip to my pans and I had some pans that had actually a drawstring. I didn't even have a belt or a loop but this pouch worked really good. Um, and the fact that it has the, the little metal here for your tape measure and also what you can stick on there is the, uh, the belt clip for your, your impact driver or whatever you have where you have this clip hang it upside down. That works pretty good. But what I found is I tried that and it makes it hang too low to where it bounces around on your leg when you're walking quick which you're moving fast the entire time but um also what i've done and learned to do is take this clip and then just clip it to the back of the belt so that allows it to be more centered and more in the middle and then that's what i do for that setup um, that's about it. This pouch I just acquired, so I haven't really stocked it yet. Um, it has like a little magnetic uh, quick snap thing that's pretty cool. So you take this rubber and stick your like carpenter's pencil in there, but I decided to outfit it with a marker for me since I'm not a carpenter and I do not use a carpenter pencil. But it's nice because it has a little, little magnet plate and so that's nice so the pockets are good this is magnetic it holds the screws I think I already went over that um, yeah that's about it so I just have these three pouches and they're more than enough compartments for the basic things that I, I, I use most of the time and I made this little clip for the gloves I just took like a key ring and looped it through the gloves. Um, when you're doing most of these jobs where sometimes you remove your gloves on and off, I would definitely suggest to purchase gloves that have the loop. It's going to be much more advantage. Now these are okay, but as you see they have no loops and I do not use these gloves on those type of projects. I use this more like at home use, garage, DIY, but in the more professional setting, I use these type of gloves so I can quickly stick these around anything or clamp them or something. Before, I just used to place these around the phone case and it worked fine. So that's what's going on. If you guys have any uh, questions about anything, I have a couple of pens, pencils here, I mean markers some other pencils but yep yeah, so that's the setup that I have for now that I'm developing uh, I thank all of you for watching I thank all of you for subscribing and I will catch you in the next one